What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So I'm gonna check out WWE moves that were banned and the real reason why. We're gonna check out some of these moves that WWE was like, nah, 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 nah. We gotta, we gotta ban these moves for maybe uh, some sponsorship reasons. Maybe sponsors don't like the move being performed, or maybe you know they're they're trying to get some more sponsors and they don't want to seem too violent even though it is a wrestling show and the whole objective is to beat your opponent which would entail some type of violence but that's neither here nor there we're gonna check out some of these moves that were banned and the real reason why appreciate all love support let's get right into this one man why did WWE ban the punt kick curb stop gts and chair shots i'll be sharing the real reasons WWE had those and they banned them then they unbanned them and I love it. <laughs> Band, but first, let's start with the punch kick. Oh, I love the punch kick. <laughs> <laughs> with the exception of the RKL, the punch kick is Randy Orton's most iconic move. Facts, it was simple, bro. but looked vicious, and that's actually what led it to being banned. Orton has admitted that his boot connected with people's skulls while performing the oh punch kick. The God. most famous instant is when Randy performed the move on Vince McMahon. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. I, I understand why they they did ban it for a while and then they brought it back like around 2020 when he was punt kicking uh, uh legends again <laughs> gave the chairman of wb a concussion and it was the beginning of the end for the vipers signature move in 2012 the punt kick was banned for the safety of randy Orton's opponents mm -hmm. however during the pandemic yep. in 2020 the Vipers but did bring back the move the reason was that there was no fans in attendance so order could perform the kick safely while also making it look convincing mm -hmm. the less famous finishing move but still pretty awesome is the vertebraker oh my god oh. shane helm aka the hurricane used the move while competing in wcw and carried the vertebraker over to wwe however he didn't get to use it for long shortly after arriving in wwe helms was told he was no longer allowed to use the move even though helms had never hurt anyone with the vertebraker wwe deemed it too risky the move yeah. requires perfect execution to pull off safely and the slightest mistake can result in the person taking the move landing on their head or neck yep. the move has been banned in wwe ever since however seth rollins and aj styles busted out the move in 2016 oh wow televised event now the reason for banning the yeah i mean because the the it looks like the opponent has to time it perfectly to raise up their 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 uh their head and neck so they don't you know land on their neck you know what i'm saying so but that is kind of a dangerous move uh the room for error is very very small there so i can understand why they would ban that this move was just straight up dumb. When Michelle McCool started wrestling in WWE, she used a finisher called Wings of Love. Mm. Oh. However, she'd be forced to stop using the move. It wasn't because someone got hurt or because it was too risky. The reason was that WWE felt it was too devastating of a move for a female wrestler. Yeah, WWE That's banned stupid. a finishing move because it looked too powerful. <laughs> That's so stupid, man. It's just dumb. The ironic part is that after having Wings of Love banned, Michelle McCool started using another finisher, the Face Breaker. If mm -hmm. it looks familiar, that's because it's the same finisher AJ Styles, Styles uses, use, the Styles yep. Clash. The Styles Clash is a pretty dangerous move. Very dangerous. It to be for a while due to having a history of causing injuries. Oh! Thankfully, nobody ever got injured when Michelle McCool used the Face Breaker, but this has to be the first time a safe move got banned. Bro, that move definitely looks one. brutal, Seth too. Seth Rollins had a similar thing happen to him with the curb stop. Rollins. Yep. Rollins with a curb stop. Did that one point that was his move and then they took it back they took it away he couldn't use it and then he, he was able to bring it back so Seth's first finisher in WWE, the Skywalker, looked good, but yeah. didn't catch on. The curb stop, on the other hand, yeah. did. Despite this, WWE banned Bop. the move. This happened actually because Rollins became WWE champion. At WrestleMania 31, Seth cashed in his money in the bank and won the WWE Classic. championship. Classic the next cash day, in. Rollins appeared on the Today Show, and footage of him hitting the curb stop was played. Vince McMahon saw this and was worried about children trying to imitate the WWE champion. Because of this, McMahon had the curb stop banned and stayed that way for three years. In 2018, mm -hmm. Seth had a talk with his boss and Vince McMahon allowed the move to be used again with the only difference being that was now simply called the stomp Seth Rollins had another move <laughs> which is crazy they, they just took the stomp they took the curb part out because oh that's too violent <laughs> but it wasn't entirely his fault oh right into the barricade 
Seth started using the buckle bomb uh -huh. around the same time as the curb stomp. While the stomp was banned for looking dangerous, the buckle bomb was banned for actually being dangerous. Yeah. The first incident happened when Seth Rollins Sting. fought Stain in 2015. Seth hit the Stainer with a buckle bomb that caused the icon to injure his neck. Stain later said it was a freak accident, which yeah. is probably why the move wasn't banned on the spot. However, about a year later, someone else would get hurt. At SummerSlam 2016, Rollins yep. fought Finn, Finn Balor, Balor. the first Universal Champion. Seth hit Finn with a buckle bomb into the crowd barricade, which caused Balor to dislocate his shoulder. While Finn won the match, the injury forced him to be sidelined for several months. The buckle mm -hmm. bomb was still not banned, however, but an incident by another wrestler would Jeez. change that. In 2020, Nia Jax fought Kyrie Sane on Raw. During the match, Nia threw Sane into the turnbuckle. Oh, the man. move caused Kyrie Sane to injure her head, leading WWE to ban the move. Like with the stop, <laughs> though, the buckle. It's always Nia. It's always Nia. <laughs> bomb would return eventually. A classic wrestling move is the pile driver. Yep. The move was a staple of wrestling for years, but mm -hmm. got banned in WWE. The ban happened in 2000, a few years after Owen Hart infamously broke Stone oh. Steve Austin's neck. The rattlesnake said that he could not feel anything from the neck down after Jesus, the move and thought he would never walk bro. again. Thankfully, that didn't happen, and while Stone Cold did eventually return to the ring, his career was shortened as a result of the botched pile driver. Yeah. This incident showed just how dangerous the pile driver was, and oh. the move has been banned oh, ever since. Still makes me cringe. Most notably, Kane and The Undertaker's Tombstone pile drivers. The Star Press might be the most spectacular finisher in all of wrestling. Especially if you know how to hit it. However, there was a time when the move was banned in WWE. Of course, the shooting star press is inherently risky, but there yeah. are a few specific incidents that caused WWE to slam the ban hammer. The first was at WrestleMania 19, where yeah, Brock Lesnar Brock. nearly killed himself. Oh my god. The near-death experience came as a result of Lesnar having already wrestled for 20 minutes and being physically exhausted. Uh -huh. That made it understandable why the shooting star press was botched. This, on the other hand, was much less excusable. Oh! A little over a year after the Brock incident, former Cruiserweight champion Billy Kidman legitimately knocked out Chavo Guerrero while performing the Shooting Star Press. Oh my Following this, WWE God. decided the Shooting Star Press was just too high of a risk and had the move banned for several years. The 450 Splash got banned around the same time for a similar reason. And then they brought it. Oh my God! During the match, Juventud Guerrera accidentally landed on Paul London's face and fractured several bones. It wasn't until wrestlers like Evan Bourne and Justin Gabriel. Yeah, and then they they brought it back with certain wrestlers being able to do it and perform it accurately. Um, majority of the time, well, really all the time. I'm I rarely see like a ricochet mess that move up or whatnot. So came along that the shooting star press and 450 splash were unbanned. Perhaps Ryder in trouble. And Evan Bourne. John Cena got a wrestler's finisher ban. The finisher I'm talking about is the burning hammer. Oh. oh. It's not been used a ton in WWE, and there might be a very good reason for it. The move is a bit dangerous to perform, as it's difficult for the opponent to control their oh, body, and their gosh. hands are in a position that makes it easy for them to land on. However, that is not the reason the move was banned. In the early 2010s, Tyler Rex started using the Burning Hammer as his finisher. According to Rex, John Cena got upset because Cena felt it was too similar to the attitude. Oh. Cena apparently berated Tyler Rex, and Rex is forced to change his finisher. Whether you believe it or not, Tyler hmm. Rex's story does make sense. In the past few years, the Burning Hammer has been used in WWE more and more, and it comes as John Cena has been appearing in WWE less and less. There could be some truth to that. There could be some truth to that. Politicking could be involved. I don't know how accurate it is. It does look similar, you know, but it obviously is a different move and how it's performed, but it does look similar. I get, I get that, but we don't know how true that is, but it could be. Who knows? If CM Punk returns to WWE, he won't be able to use the GCS because it's banned. Ironically, both Punk and the wrestler who invented the move are the reasons for it. When Japanese wrestling legend Kenta came to WWE in 2014, he underwent a few changes. First, he was given the name Hideo Itami. Mm -hmm. On top of that, he wasn't allowed to use the GTS, even though that was his finisher in Japan, and he invented the move. The reason was that WWE was worried it would remind fans of CM Punk, who had recently walked out of the company. Which is wild, bro. He, he invented the move, and he can't even use it even though he invented it the fuck <laughs> however WWE eventually gave in yeah and Tommy was allowed to use the GTS unfortunately it was short-lived during mm -hmm. a match against Brian Kendrick a Tommy hit Kendrick with the GTS but actually broke Kendrick's nose oh! with a rule bone. this was enough for WWE to take action and the GTS has been banned ever since as you've no doubt learned WWE tends to ban moves it looked like he didn't put his hand up or uh, aren't you supposed to like put your hand up as you're coming down 
to protect yourself? Let me see how these other people took it. And at time he was allowed to use Oh, well, maybe you're not. I don't know. Unfortunately, it was short lived. During a match Hold against on. Brian Kendrick, Atami recently yeah. walked out of the company. However, WWE eventually gave in, and Atami was allowed to use the GTS. Unfortunately, it was. I don't know. Maybe I guess you're not supposed to put your Brian hands up. Kendrick, Atami hit Kendrick with the GTS. Or well, maybe he's supposed to aim it a certain way. This Jeez. was enough for WWE to take action, and the GTS has been banned ever since. As you've no doubt learned, WWE tends to ban moves after an accident happens, uh -huh. and that's sort of the case with the Brain Buster. Third of oh, and then they'll bring it back years on later. Having a violent name, the Brain Buster is just oh. a difficult move to control. The idea of the move is that a wrestler sends their opponent's head crashing onto the ring mat, and the line between making the move look real and keeping a wrestler safe is very thin. Mm -hmm. WWE actually decided to ban the Brain Buster because of a different botched move. At Super Showdown in 2019, Goldberg fought The Undertaker. Oh, Goldberg brother. went to perform his signature jackhammer, but yep. lost control and ended up delivering a sloppy oh, Brain Buster. The botch almost caused Undertaker to be permanently injured. Oh and the accident led WWE to err on the side of caution and banned the Brain Buster. Some moves are synonymous with one wrestler. shouldn't have been out the there. They both the shouldn't have been out there at that job. time. Yep. That was Joe banned in WWE for a while. Buster for his entire wrestling career and had no issues with that. When he came to WWE, though, that's when things changed. In his third match for the company, Joe fought Tyson Kidd before uh -huh. WWE went on the air. Joe hit the muscle buster like normal, but Tyson Kidd did not get up. It was later discovered that Kidd had injured his spinal cord. The situation was made even scarier when it was shared that only 5% of people survived the injury Tyson sustained. The muscle buster was eventually wow. banned, and Joe transitioned to using the Coquina Clutch. Uh -huh. It's a different type of move, but you won't see this that's anymore. That's crazy. Five percent, bro. That's just look at that. Look, look, look what they the had to do to his was neck. Even scarier when it was shared that only five percent of people survived the injury. Only five percent of people survived the injury, and of the five who do, ninety nine percent are paralyzed. The only reason why T J Wilson survived was due to his top physical conditioning. The four hour surgery was performed where TJ's neck and spine were fused. Uh, and he received four screws, 16 staples, and a metal rod in his neck. Jesus, bro. Oh, so apparently, uh, uh, TJ was uh, told that he suffered a similar injury as uh, Christopher Reeves. He was told the C2 injury should have suffocated him to death. That's just why. Wow, that's crazy. I get why they obviously banned him from doing that move. I know he does it now in AEW, but and obviously it wasn't, you know, <clears throat> it was just a freak accident. But damn. Tyson sustained. The muscle buster was eventually banned, and Joe transitioned to using the Coquina Clutch. It's a different type of move, but you won't see this anymore in WWE. Yep. The chair Most shot. Chairs are still used as to the to WWE, the to the head. You see someone hitting their opponent in the head. The nope. chairs used in WWE are the real deal. Yep. So just imagine what it'd be like getting hit in the head by one. The full extent of the damage that chair shots to the head have wasn't known until years later, <clears throat> as wrestlers develop chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE. Mm -hmm. What most people forget or don't know is that WWE didn't ban chair shots to the head until 2010. You can even yep. see some matches from the beginning of the PG era where wrestlers hit one another in the head with mm -hmm. chairs. There is speculation that the reason WWE finally banned chair shots right. to the head was because of Vince McMahon's wife. In September 2009, Linda McMahon announced she was running to be a U.S. Senator. Throughout mm. her campaign, Linda was criticized for a time with WWE, and WWE <laughs> indirectly got attacked as well. Mm -hmm. While WWE would never admit it, it does seem like they banned chair shots to the head to make their product appear safer and less violent to help not only themselves, but also Linda McMahon. While the steel chair is Definitely dangerous, sound, it's not the most dangerous sound about weapon. Right. To find out what is, watch this <clears throat> video. I mean... I'm all here's the thing. There's the thing. I if you know how to do it right, obviously there's a way to protect yourself. We're not I'm not talking about unprotected chair shots. There's an art to it. it crazy thing is there is an art to it. I'm not talking about the unprotected chair shots. No, I don't think that's necessary in wrestling. But if you are gonna do a chair shot spot, I would it, it should be a situation where it's protected, where you got your hands up. You got your forearm up, something up where you're protecting yourself or whatnot. And then you kind of go from there. If not, obviously, you know, use the chair for other, you know, other body parts. You know, people be hitting people in the back with the chair or the legs or whatever. But if you're going to do a chair shot spot and it's involving like a headshot, 
there should be you should be able to get your hands up no unprotected that's my only thing if they were to do that but i know wwe just wants to stay away from that so i completely understand but yeah it just it, once again it just comes to making sure you know how to take the chair shot properly and know what to do uh the person who's giving the chair shot as well so um but it's crazy most of this list is moves that they banned and then somebody either got hurt or they saw multiple people get hurt or potentially you know have some issues with the move maybe investors or whatever and then there's like you know what we're gonna ban it and then years later we'll unban it that's literally what this list was man so comment down below let me know what's your favorite move that was banned in this video or even if it wasn't in this video uh your a move that you know was banned in wrestling but you still love to see the move perform let me know down below but i appreciate all love support guys shown on channel road to 150k i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all keeping me see you on next one peace